friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm going to give you guys the video that you have been waiting for. All the products that I don't like. Yes, there actually are products that I don't use and or don't work for my hair. Now, many of these items in my giant box have sulfate, paraben, or silicone. Or they just straight up sucked. Now, as some of you may know, I usually don't prefer to talk about products that I don't like on my channel because I really rather spend that time making videos for products that I do like, showing you how those work to actually help you, versus making a whole video on something that doesn't really even deserve the shine. But my box is starting to overflow, so I am going to donate all these products. No, I'm not going to give them to you because we're working on getting your curls to look perfect. So I'm not going to give you something that I don't like. Sorry. And there is a part of me that doesn't even really like donating these products because, I mean, they're not the best. But I know that there are people that are less fortunate that don't have anything to use. So i much rather these products be helping somebody than sitting in my corner collecting dust. But without further ado, let's get started because there's a lot to go through. <sighs> All right. So yeah, this is box number one, and we're just gonna see what's in here, okay? Starting with a brand that I'm really trying to like, but um, there's just always sulfates and silicones, and that is Weedad. Funny thing about Weedad is that they call themselves the curl experts, yet most curly people try to avoid a lot of the ingredients in their expertise products. So this is their daily conditioner and primer for all curl types that has amodimethicone. This is their advanced climate control shampoo that has silicone. And I don't even know why the shampoo would have silicone. Like, it's a shampoo. Like, why? Um, so kind of like this whole advanced climate control has sulfate and silicone. I haven't used it. It could work amazing. But as you guys know, I prefer not to use products that have sulfate and silicone because you don't need it. And this is not a cheap product, so if you guys are going to be spending 20 plus dollars on a product, it might as well be sulfate, paraben, silicone free, okay? So yeah, I have a lot of Weedad in here. Um, the next thing I have, ooh, Aveeno. These Aveeno products have amodimethicone. And I was sent so many of these, and I was so excited. But literally, shampoos, conditioner. Uh, let's see what's in the shampoo. Even the shampoo has amodimethicone. I really don't get when there's silicone in a shampoo. I just don't get it. So I have like the entire <laughs> Aveeno line that I'm just not going to use. So that's very unfortunate, but somebody's about to get hooked up with this entire line. Another thing in my box are some products by Wow, Color Wow. This is really supposed to be really good for color treated hair, but these products do have dimethicone. So I haven't used those yet. I also get products by Way in a lot of those like beauty boxes, but these always have silicone in these little texturizing hairsprays, so don't use that. What is this? Um, OGX. OGX has maybe like five products that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Unfortunately, this one is not and has cyclopentacilazane in it, which is a silicone. Bella Curls. Bella Curls sent me like their entire line. And I'm pretty positive that even before they emailed me these, I said, hey, just wanted to make sure that these products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free or I'm not going to be able to use them. And I sure they said it was good to go and it's not it says straight up silicone not even dimethicone not amodimethicone it says silicone and some of you guys wrote me and said that you didn't even like it so yeah that's a no for me dog when the very old school popular brand when it says methosulfate but just so you guys know that is actually not a sulfate it's one of those confusing ones that looks like a sulfate but is not Amodimethicone. So it's a cleansing conditioner, so it's like a shampoo conditioner mix that does have silicone. This is a huge bottle. Wasted. 
I've got, oh, a Veda. A Veda is another one you guys ask me to try all the time, but I am trying, but they just don't create enough products that are sulfate paraben silicone free. I was able to keep, I think, one or two of the products that they sent me, but this shampoo, unfortunately, does have sulfate in it, so not using that one, especially on my color-treated hair. Next up, I have OGX Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. This is a hair mask but this hair mask has silicone in it. So I really don't recommend using any hair mask that has silicone because you're letting it sit on your hair for 20 minutes, but nothing's gonna be able to penetrate because silicone sits on top of your hair. So not only are you buying a product that's not really gonna work that well, you're literally wasting your time. You're letting your hair sit in silicone for 20 minutes and you're wondering why it's not growing. Okay, so I think that's everything in box number one. Ugh. Box number two. I tried to put this in Brianna Shanae's box, but now it's falling apart from the bottom. But let's see what's in here. Now, I do want to clarify that just because some products are in here does not mean that that entire brand isn't good. Sometimes a brand can make certain, you know, good products, but some other ones aren't. So just make sure you always read the back of the labels so you know what you're getting yourself into. Like Carol's Daughter. Carol's Daughter is a very popular brand in the curly hair community, but many of their products do have sulfates or silicone. There is their cocoa cream line and their like green supreme line. And that's honestly one of my favorite conditioners, like period. So I'm really happy that they did finally make a line that is sulfate paraben silicone free, but just know that there are some that are and some that aren't. And some that aren't would include the Prakashi Nectar Wash and Go Leave-In, the Green Supreme Leave-In Tonic, and a lot of their other ones. The next thing in here is TGIN, another one you guys ask me about all the time that I haven't given a whole video on my channel, but this does have amlodimethicone in it, and this is their Miracle Repair Curl Food. So. There are TGIN products that do contain silicone. Keep that in mind if you guys are trying to avoid them. Plentyful does have silicone in it. Um, Hair La Vie, um, this one might be silicone free. I just really didn't like the person I was talking to, so we're not reviewing them on my channel. Um, Fat Boy, I think I used their edge control, but this product did have, ugh, Let's see, this is a hairspray that has silicone in it. Can't use that boy. Mark Anthony, this is a perfect example of why you just shouldn't buy whatever products that say curly on them because it doesn't mean they're gonna be really good for your curly hair. This is the Strictly Curls line leave-in conditioner. All of the curls Mark Anthony products in this yellow bottle do contain cyclopentacillazine, which is silicone, so unfortunately, can't use these products if you want to be CG friendly. Miss Jessie's, ooh, another one you guys ask me to review all the time that hasn't made it on my channel, but this is their Quick Curls, and unfortunately it has cyclopentacillazine at like the fourth ingredient on here, which is a silicone. Has some more weed add. Their Vitacurl Gel Cream has silicone, but their other Vitacurl products don't, so. I do use those, like the gel is great, but I don't use the cream because of the silicone. Amika, this is Amika's hair mask that has silicone in it. Texture ID, these products actually are sulfate paraben silicone free. I just didn't like them. My curls were like, nope, this isn't it. So that's why these are in here. If you wanna try these, you definitely can because they're not gonna harm your hair in any way but I just didn't see any lasting results that were gonna get me throughout the week, so I don't use any of the Texture ID products. Rich, I was so excited to use Rick Ross's brand because, I mean, it's Rick Ross, why not? But all his products had dimethicone, cyclomethicone, like so many silicones in here that I couldn't use it, but I really wanted to be Rick Ross's friend. Mizani, Mizani is another popular, kind of, I think they're a high-end brand, but there's dimethicone in this leave-in, so haven't used that one. Bumble and Bumble. The only Bumble and Bumble product that I use is their shampoo because it's sulfate-free, but all their other stylers have silicone, so 
that's why I don't use Bumble and Bumble. Nature Lab, I think their shampoo might be sulfate free, but their other products have silicone. Agave, Agave has a deep conditioner, but this has silicone in it as well. Buclem, now I know what you're thinking. I did do a video all about these products because they are sulfate paraben silicone free. But I put it in here because I just couldn't deal with the smell anymore. I'm pretty sure I told you guys even in my video that it has a really strong smell. But it was, it's, oh, it's so strong. <laughs> so it works, but I personally just couldn't deal with the smell anymore. So that's why this is in here. So now you know. These are all the products that I do not use in my collection. I think just about all of these were sent to me, so fortunately I didn't waste any of my money on these products. But that's why I'm showing you guys today so you also don't waste any money on products that have sulfates, parabens, or silicones because those ingredients really just aren't going to help your hair in any way. If you want to use these products, you know, to each his own. But if your hair isn't growing, isn't shiny, isn't defined, is always frizzy, this might be the problem. Now while we're talking about products, I do want to mention that I get so many DMs on Instagram where you guys are asking me, does this product have silicone? Does this product have sulfate? And I have made a complete video on how to read the labels on products. And I actually made a second video with Penny Tovar, AKA Curly Penny, where we went shopping at Target and we showed you how to read the labels on products so you know which ones have sulfates or silicone. I will make sure to link both of those videos after this video because I don't want you guys to have to like need me. You know what I'm saying? I want you to always want me because <laughs> you just should. But I really want you guys to be at a point where you could just figure it out all on your own. So in those videos, you'll learn about keywords to look for like dimethicone, amlodimethicone, cyclopentacilazine, sulfates, sulfonate. There's so many, but the more you look for them, the easier it's going to be to spot just by turning over the bottle. And when in doubt, like I do, don't be afraid to use Google. All you have to do is go to Google and say, is blah de blah a silicone? is blah de blah a sulfate and it'll come right up and you'll have your answer much faster than waiting for me to reply to your DM. So now that you've seen my naughty collection, let me know if there's any products that you're actually surprised that aren't CG friendly, surprised that they do have silicone or that I didn't like them. Let me know your thoughts down below and also let me know what products don't work for you, what other brands that do you try to avoid because of sulfate and silicone. Let's make my comment section as helpful as possible so we know what products to avoid. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.